Could Captain America lead up to the Avengers 2? Big news updates for Xbox One, DC Universe Online, uh, Star Wars The Old Republic, and Pokemon Bank is coming to the US, and major announcements about Sonic Boom! What's up everybody and welcome to Totally A Fan, the show where I, a total fan, come to you and I bring you news into video games, movies, comic books, TV shows, and everything in the world of fandom, and I bring that information to you simply because I want to. Now, before we get started, if you guys don't know already, today is the first day of the Sochi 2014 Olympics, so if you guys have the time to watch it, um, go ahead and check it out, um, but it's going on now. Now, for today's big item... Captain America, sorry, I have to adjust my notes here. Captain America 2, The Winter Soldier, is set to come out April 4th, and um, Mr. Joe Russo, uh, who is one of the brothers of the directors who's uh, directing Captain America, uh, says that there's a very strong connection in the narrative between the events of the end of Avengers that drive this film, The Winter Soldier. And it's this very strong handoff to Avengers 2 at the end of this movie. And Kevin Feige's whole thing is that the biggest bridge of all Phase 2 movies, it really is. It does involve the most amount of Avengers of any of the films in Phase 2, and has sort of a, you know, there's a very big shift in the universe at the end of this movie. So, there you heard it. Joe Russo uh, basically kind of gives it to you that Captain America the Winter Soldier is feeding off of what happened from the first Avengers now leading into what's going on in the second Avengers. Um, so, how do you feel about this? Are you super excited? I know I am because Captain America is going to be awesome! Movie's coming out April 4th again. Uh, it's coming in a couple days after my birthday. I'm super stoked. And I, I also found out that in a recent interview, Mr. Chris Evans, Captain America himself, um, stated that he has already seen the script for the Avengers 2, but he does kind of feel that the character is too perfect in the sense that um, supposedly what's going on in this movie, in The Winter Soldier, everybody's kind of dropping the ball around them, um, and so he wants the character of Cap to, I guess, drop the ball for the first time. Um, in addition to the interview, he also stated that he feels a little bit more comfortable in the role now, where he can bring these ideas that he has up to Whedon, uh, or anybody else who's in charge. So, um, that's going to be interesting to see, because it's been rumored, now of course rumored, that um, that Captain America is supposedly going to die in this movie, so that could or could not be um, consequence of him making these mistakes. So that's going to be something that we're going to have to see. Next is Xbox One has two major uh, updates coming out, um, February 11th and March 4th. Now the February 11th update um, is going to have a bunch of new um, features updated in in regards to the dashboard. We're going to get a battery indicator and see how much battery life you have in your control. Um, we're going to be able to now finally storage, uh, manage storage and also manage our installs for video, for games, apps, and all that stuff. And we couldn't do that before. It was kind of on a first-come, first-served basis that it would install. So now we're able to manage that very similar to how we could in the 360. And in addition, we are now going to be able to use um, USB uh, keyboards with the Xbox One. So that's going to be great. Um, I know that was some feature that uh, that some people were talking about since they didn't have the little QWERTY keypads anymore. Now the update coming March 4th is going to be for Titanfall, which I'm super excited because that game is going to be awesome. Um, it kind of has a Gundam feel to it in addition to Armor Core, and of course you know it's a first person shooter, so that's going to be awesome as well. And me and my brother-in-law were super stoked for that. Now the March 4th update is going to basically really revolve around the party features, party chat and stuff like that. A bunch of fans have been comparing it and highly criticizing it, comparing it to the 360 version. Now there's no specific details just yet, at least I couldn't find any, so if you guys know any details, please go ahead, post a comment downstairs and let me know, or if you guys follow me on Twitter, uh, tweet me, give me the update, or um, email me, let me know what's going on, because as far as I know, that's just what they want to do, is update the party features. Uh, so I haven't heard too much about that. DC Universe, um, well this is kind of old news, but the DC Universe updated uh, a couple days ago during the end of January for their new War of Light Part 1. And if you don't already know, as soon as you start the game uh, prior to the update, I think you were only able to use the Green Lantern Core. So now what they're doing is they're going to give you the Yellow Lantern Core, which is uh, the Ring of Fear, or Power of Fear, 
whereas green was power of will. In addition, you're also going to get the power of hope, which is the blue lantern core, and then the power of rage, which is the red lantern core. And that's essentially going to be, it's, it's the war of light, the war of all these, um, all these different um, spectrums of, I believe it's of the emotion. Now, for any of you who don't know, Kyle Rayner is my favorite lantern. So I'm definitely very po positive that he's going to play a major part in this, as according to the storyline, he is one of the only lanterns um, who is able to access all spectrums of the emotion. So that is going to be super cool. Pokemon Bank is, uh, I think, came out for Europe last week and is now coming up to uh, this week. Now, essentially, for those of you who don't know, it's going to work as a cloud storage device. Um, you're going to be able to, I believe, import up to 3,000 characters, um, sorry, 3,000 Pokemon from Generation 5, um, Black and White, and Black and White 2, um, and bring them all into the new XY, which is the new version for the Nintendo 3DS now. Now, in addition to the update, we're also going to get uh, Celebi, or Cerebi, depending on how you like to pronounce it. Apparently, um, that Pokemon is going to get automatically um, updated when you get the Pokemon Bank. I believe right now it's an app off the Nintendo 3DS, however, I do not have one myself. So I'm not entirely sure how it's going to work. Um, I do believe that it's like an app or something you can update. Um, so that's going to be pretty cool. Now, right now, I believe they're going to do like a free trial version. And then it's going to go to, uh, I believe it's a yearly subscription of $4.99 or $5. Um, so a yearly subscription versus a monthly subscription, I definitely think is much better. Um, if, if it's only 5 bucks a year, what's the problem with that? Now, if it's five bucks a month, which I heard it was just a year, if it's five bucks a month, you're going into Xbox Live territory. And on the DS, really? Do we really need that? I don't think we need that. That's just me personally. The last update is the Star Wars uh, Old Republic. Now, I believe that it's very, it just came out a couple days ago, I think on the 4th. Um, they have a new Starfighter expansion pack, which is essentially going to kind of give you a feel of uh, Star Wars Battlefront if you haven't, if you don't already know what that is. So basically, it's going to allow you to, to go on the ground or go in the air. You're going to be able to uh, customize and fly your plane, um, and you're also going to get um, two different suits. I believe I'm going to assume one for the dark side, one for the light side. Um, so you're going to get two different suits for your characters, which is going to be freaking awesome. Um, <clears throat> and I think it's going to be similar to the DC Online universe where it's going to be in its own story. <clears throat> um, I'm not 100% sure because the DLC already came out already, so I haven't had a chance to explore it just yet. I do play online, um, so I'm going to give you more details definitely as I find out. But that's going to be awesome because that is out now, so you guys can definitely take advantage of it. On the se second note, um, it's only going to be available to players uh, level 15 or above. Um, but basically, this the Starfighter expansion is going to be a player versus player um, expansion pack. So that's definitely going to be awesome. The last bit of news: Sonic Boom pixels are going to be right here or right there. However, I have it. I think it's going to be over here. These are the new uh, Sonic characters. It's going to be Sonic, Knuckles, Amy, and Tails. What do you guys think about this picture? Looking at it now. Now, personally, I think Knuckles is going to look like a mix of Raphael a little bit, you know, he's kind of big and bulky, and then with all these wrappings, it's definitely giving that Ninja Turtle feel. Um, now, from what I saw earlier today on Twitter, Sonic under, under slash, sorry, underscore Hedgehog, they tweeted the picture of, uh, it looks drawn. Now, when I saw the drawing of it, it looked like uh, it kind of gave me a goofy movie type feel, um, like a, that old school Disney type um, art, um, but... That's neither here or there. That's just my opinion. Um, so what do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments below. Now, some news updates with what's going on with Sonic Boom is they're looking to do a 52-episode, uh, 11-minute uh, short, I guess, of, uh, of Sonic Boom on the TV. It's going to be aired on Cartoon Network and supposedly supposed to air this fall. In addition to that, uh, it's also going to be coming out as a video game as well. And supposedly the video game is going to be the uh, prequel to the TV show. Now, here's a big rumor, possibility, rumor, rumor alert. You know, I might do some animations for rumor and spoiler alerts. What do you guys think? Let me know. Anyways, supposedly, uh, I don't know if it's Sega or if it's the creators of uh, Sonic, 
they're supposed to have a Wii U, Xbox One, PS4 game coming out. And a lot of fans and a lot of people are speculating that it's going to be Sonic Boom coming out for the next-gen systems. However, Sega has denied it. That's why it's just a rumor. But is it a possibility? Hmm. We shall find out. Definitely as time progresses, you know me. I'm always going to give you updates. Um, but that's all the information I have about Sonic Boom for now. So we'll wait and see. So that's it for the show today. Again, another day of no mail, no tweets. Listen, guys, if you guys have any questions, just let me know as always. If you got questions, comments, concerns, any topics you want to hear about, go ahead and send me an email. Go ahead and follow me on Twitter. Or go ahead and post a comment downstairs below. All that contact information is down there. In addition, do me a favor and click that subscribe button. If you like this show and you want more news coming your way, go ahead and subscribe. And that way, or every time I come up with a new show every day, you'll get that update. So, again, that's going to be it for today. No questions, but hopefully I'll start getting some more soon. Um, now, a big update before we go. I wanted to save this news for tomorrow, but I can't really wait. I'm super stoked. Next week, if you are in the Maryland, D.C., Virginia area, uh, next weekend on the 14th, 15th, and 16th is Katsukan, which is an anime convention in the National Harbor in Baltimore area. So if you guys are going, tweet me, follow me, do whatever you want to contact me. Let me know because not only am I going to be there, but I'm also going to record and I'm going to see if I can upload uh, that weekend adventure as that weekend I won't post any... Uh, real information in the world of news but what that's gonna allow me to do is hopefully on Sunday I'll be able to do like a week a week uh, like a weekly recap of what happened that week so if there's any information that you guys wanted to hear about that maybe I wasn't able to post about I'm gonna talk about that hopefully on Sunday so we'll see how that goes but more details as we get closer and next week I kinda wanted to do a bunch of anime information leading up to Katakan but what I'm thinking about doing is maybe Wednesday posting something up because on Thursday uh, we're supposed to go out there to Maryland. So we'll see how that goes. Again, I'm going to keep you guys posted. But again, if you guys are going, if you guys have any questions, if you guys are going cosplaying or anything like that, let me know. I want to know. I want to see if I can see you and meet any of you guys that are going to be in this area. So let me know. All right, guys. So that's it for today. Uh, until then, have a good one.